Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, High Plane Games where Estben and Balkenberg are back for second opinions as opposed <laughs> to first impressions. How are you doing mate? Uh, doing, doing really really well, um, getting over the late night. <laughs> yes, we are operating on little sleep um, and especially from my end, I don't know about yours, uh, probably an awful lot of sugary goods to get me through. Actually, yeah, I had a watermelon flavoured energy drink at about 10 a.m. this morning. Um, so I'm still coasting <laughs> through on the bus from that. Excellent stuff. So we are going to relive the 2014 seasons. We are Caterham Kings once more. And uh, let's see what the difference is between this and the 2015 uh, 15. version. Yes, thank you for that. <laughs> Just thought I'd help you out there, mate. I heard you're struggling. I don't like to hear you struggling. No, no. Especially when it involves food or numbers. So we've both had a bit of extra time with the game since we finished recording this morning. I was going to say last night then, but it wasn't. It was this morning. Yeah. <clears throat> now, I don't know about you. Um, first of all, I, I should say that we both had a quick look through the reviews on Steam, which certainly from my point of view seem a little bit unnecessarily critical. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Um, I mean, we we all knew that all Codemasters games are very divisive and they get very mixed reviews across the board. But uh, I did feel people were being a little bit harsh on it. But also, some of the bugs people were describing sounded pretty severe. Although, I, am I safe speaking for both of us when I say we haven't encountered them? No, at least on PC version, no. Yeah, I mean, you know, talking about people crashing every time they uh, come out of the pits, which, I mean, we, we had a crash yesterday coming out of the pits, but that was because the Steam server went down rather yes. than the game failing. Yes. Um, I have had um, my game on the PS4 version get stuck in second gear coming out of the pits. Um, but I didn't know if it was supposed to be some kind of reliability bug, because after I played around with the gearbox, it suddenly came back to life. But every time I went to fourth for about three goes it was like nope back to second and i was like come on <laughs> uh, can i just say how good it is to be back with caterham oh yes uh, do you miss caterham in the real f1 this year uh have seeing how man and russia are doing no <laughs> uh honestly no i don't think they would be adding anything but i as a team yeah of course i miss them i had some affection for them So, while I'm uh, beginning my outlap, um, going back to this, this criticism, yeah, um, sorry, yeah. obviously everyone else's mileage will vary. You know, we've all, we're all running different setups and everything. I just think, as someone who is running a reasonable amount below the recommended minimum specs, it's very confusing that people are reporting so many problems when I shouldn't technically be able to run the game and it's smooth as a baby's bottom i mean it it's incredibly well optimized in my opinion yeah that was an interesting move on that salva oh me just then yeah I, I i was thinking of taking him off because there can be only one esteban on this track i was but... gonna say is it gutierrez gut gut the gut uh yeah actually i have to say i've had um especially with the recording and stuff like that, I'm bouncing around the 30 frames quite happily, diving up to 50 every now and then. It's only in the pits where it dips below 30 for a very split second or two. Um, I've had little worry with the uh, PC version. I, Having gone out and now got the PS4 version, I can't speak for the Xbox One version, I'm afraid, um, that seems to have a few more graphical uh, oh i've come out with all the driving aids on fuck it uh but it that does seem to have some graphical glitches namely um when you look back it there seems to be a del like a miniature screen freeze and then the game runs at about five frames per second <laughs> and i was like mm, oh. issue issue much yes um but also, am I right in saying that the previous games have had bugs on the console versions that haven't been on the the PC versions? I think so. Um, because I remember, yeah. was it 
2018 where you reported a similar problem with looking backwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It got fixed, but uh, I was a bit like, hmm. I mean, that's the other thing to consider, of course, that Codemasters do generally fix these early teething problems, and I don't think it's a good reason to completely write off um, the game. Yeah. I'm still getting caught out by the talk steer. Um, from my own experience, um, oh, actually, one thing I wanted to address on the Steam uh, forums, mm-hmm. ev- almost everyone is complaining that there is no co-op season. There is a co-op season. There, there is a co-op championship. You just, basically, you have to select a series of races to run, and it will remember your points between races. So it is in. It's the single-player career mode that's missing. Yeah, no, that's a good spot. And I wonder if that's people were missing that due to where you was calling out about the in, unintuitive uh, UI. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say that's probably to blame. Buried in there somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm developing some kind of technical problem with my car. Oh. Um, I, I lost power there momentarily, or at least it felt like I did. Anyway, um, on to what I was actually going to say before I went on correcting the Steam forums. Um, the problem I've encountered really is that I feel the race AI has gone backwards a little bit because I remember last year we were quite impressed with how competitive the AI were. And if anything, they're a little bit more competitive this time, which is, of course, a good thing. But they seem yeah. a little bit too careless on the rails. Like Previously, they were too cautious and they wouldn't really fight you going into a corner. Mm-hmm. They, they'd pretty much back off. Um, in this game, they drive as if you aren't there. And I've been punted round more times than I care to admit in uh, in my single-player races. Okay. Uh, have you encountered the same problem? Uh, I have had more uh, clips and clouts. Uh, <clears throat> it, it feels like... I think a lot of my issues have come from uh, either through my setups or the cars that I'm choosing, I normally towards the back of the grid, that I'm massively down on power compared to all of the other AI down the straight, and that's including your Manners and your McLarens, when I'm in like a Red Bull or a Sauber, and I'm I'm a bit confused as to the disparity between it. And so when I'm diving in for a corner, I have so much more corner speed compared to them that it's like we're driving completely different rules and so we catch each other out quite often where like they'll smash me trying to go halfway down a straight and then I'll smash them trying to get around them in a the corner. I mean, to 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 be fair, um, I, I've definitely seen that as well. But um, what I would say, is that you outside the garage? Yes, it is. Hello. It is. Hello. Um, what I would definitely say is that that is something that I found in all the Codemasters F1 games. Um, oh, Okay. Like the the cars, I've never been able to outrun anyone on the straights. But for me, this game has been the best for that. I don't know if it's because of our setup choices, because if you recall, especially all through last season, I would often in the dry go for the slipperier setup, um, mm-hmm. which I'm still doing. Whereas you were a one click to the right kind of dude. Yep, I'm doing the same again here. And what I found in my single player races is that I was able to catch cars on the straight more so if um, I came out of the corner on a really good line. Um, but I, you know, I can't completely ignore it because if I'm not cornering perfectly, there are cars that should be comparatively underpowered that are making up far too much ground on me. And that's kind of, I, I don't know, to be honest, if, I have no idea if the car behavior is particularly realistic because I've never driven an F1 car. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if the power deficit that you experience, when you, especially when you take a corner badly, is actually realistic. And it's just that I'm driving badly that, you know, the car behind me is getting enough of a toe to completely batter me on the straight um so it's really it's really hard to say one way or the other in my opinion um but again everyone's mileage varies doesn't it and 
and I've completely balls that corner. Um, I just, I feel it's better for me, but that doesn't mean it's better for everybody, I suppose, is, is the way to, to say it. Yeah. My driving really goes to CAC when I'm um, trying to say something about how the game handles while fighting with the handling <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Well, just while she was doing that, I was just having a quick rummage around in the options so that I could try and find how to turn off all the assists again. <laughs> so, if, sorry, everyone, for having a quick rummage around all the menus, um, just highlighting just how awkward some of the uh, UI is. Uh, let's ride on board with you. Oh, let's not. <laughs> You see how it just turned in on itself a little bit there? Uh-huh. This will be... Not this lap now. The one I'm about to begin will be the the deciding lap. I have improved, though. Up to sixth. Clonking the old inside. Ooh. I, I do that on that corner every time. I'm going to have to watch myself. Because I'm losing quite a bit of time with that squiggle. Enjoying the taco sausage. Well, why wouldn't you? Spicy. Uh, it's um, one of the other things that's come up on the Steam forums, and I have no particular opinion on it at all because I just look at it and it, it's just the way how it is. Is this whole um, turning the colour of the game into like an old CRT style colour? They've gave there's a posh name for it, which I had to actually look up what the hell it was on Google. Do you have any particular opinion on whether you want crisp, clear HD, or do you quite like the like sun blur and the lens flare and all of that stuff? It doesn't bother me either way, actually. No, it <clears> just <throat> is. <laughs> I I don't. Some people get really arsy about this kind of stuff, though. You know, you, you see it all over YouTube as well. Some people can't stand to watch a video if it's not 1080p. Yeah, I don't get that. I, like it just if the content's good and I'm enjoying it, then it doesn't bother me. I mean, you know, one of my games that I've been enjoying the most recently has been Hotline Miami, and that's hardly a graphical masterpiece, but <laughs> you know, I don't feel the game is impeded by that in any way. No, no, no. But again, you know, it's horses for courses, you know, especially if you've invested a lot of money in a really fancy PC, you want that. But the people who are saying there has been no graphical improvement at all, yeah, um, get I, the think, fuck out. I think are being somewhat um, twatty. Yes. <laughs> I was trying to think of a technical term, but there isn't one. They're just I will go with that. <laughs> you know, because... I'm not saying the game is beyond reproach. It, there are things to criticise. Um, I've written a review myself where I'm saying... I think it's pretty inexcusable to leave out something like the safety car. Um, I don't see why you can't have your own race number and design your own helmet and play a custom career. I don't think that would be hard to implement. No. Um, and some of the choices they've made are weird. You know, maybe I want to play a 25% race distance with short qualifying rather than one shot qualifying. But the game doesn't let me do that. Now, something you're going to be trying this evening is uh, the pro season, yeah? Yes, um, which I've not touched yet, and I'll be doing that on the PS4 version. I'll be twitching it over on uh, twitch.com forward slash highplane games. So if you come along, those videos do get transferred onto this channel anyway. So if you're not about, you can loll at me trying out the PS4 version. But I know you've already been in on it, so tell us how that is, because I've got no idea yet. I don't, some people have been complaining that they found that all assists were on by default, and the menu was greyed out and they couldn't turn them off, but I didn't encounter that problem. Um, wow. When you're playing Pro Season, you're playing the game, I suppose, as close to fully realistic as, as you can get on a home entertainment system. Um, so, you know, you've got no driver assists, hardest AI. Um, what I like about it is it takes away all the hood, and you're reliant on your race engineer for every minor piece of information which is just brilliant in my mind. I absolutely adore that idea. Position update. Um, okay. 
you know, so, you know, finding out if you're racing the guy behind you, for example, um, reminding yourself of your pitch strategy, um, you know, reporting problems during practice that he'll he-, he helps you fix with your setup. So, you know, the fact you can call in complaining of understeer or oversteer and then have some meaningful remedy provided to you. Uh-huh. These are all um, really great features and it'd be nice to, be able to sort of pick and choose them a little bit more in a more custom gameplay setup, if, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I, th- I was getting a bit... When I was looking at the championship season um you're so locked into a you do it this way this way this way what why can't i have um a 25 percent race with a proper qualifying oh dear barrier um with a without having to always have one shot qualifying yeah it, it, it just it just makes no sense but again like i'm i'm trying not to be too critical of that because that is that is not a deficiency in the game itself. It's just a poor design decision that can be yeah. very easily rectified. That's a patch away from no longer being an issue. And that would be such a small feature to stick in. Um, and like, because sometimes when I see people saying, "Oh, why on earth have you done that and not done that?" Um, and I think I'd have kind of gone along the same lines in my head. But the last oh, I've just ghosted out because I was so shit into that corner. <laughs> uh, I was. I've spent the last eighteen months working as part of a software, well, well an IT project development, um, and that has given me such good insight as to how you prioritise, like, what is the biggest thing and what then has an impact on something else, um, and so I can see sometimes why they've gone for some things over another because when you look at like implementing potentially a safety car that is such a time intensive thing because of what it deals with but you would spend so much more time based on making sure that the physics work first so that you've got a solid base to then build on Um, I think then what the big problem is is that exactly at what point do you release a game and do you market that as a this is one above early access late access (laughs) (laughs) it is late access because it was delayed that's quite yeah. an apt term you've picked out there. <laughs> so yeah, it's um it's an interesting one because you, and you get this whenever like a new engine or a next gen comes along and you do this whole back to basics to rebuild and nothing ever comes out of the same features that the last one of the last gen has where it's got all singing all dancing. Um and I think we forget that that we have the same when you went to PS2 everything was like oh this game's got six tracks on. Um, and people were like, ooh. Um, and then when you go to PS3, it would be things like, um, oh, I don't know, like so much stuff's like missing again because you're rebuilding from the ground up. And I don't know, I think with PC games specifically, because you're out of that generational loop so much, it seems like a bit of a weird one to go, oh, we had it all here last year. I, I think because the PC stays the PC, that people are going to be more critical of it. But that's exactly a point I wanted to bring up. That you don't um, you don't make these big underlying fundamental changes to a game and then have it be as feature complete as the last iteration on the old engine because there's a period of optimization to be completed. It's a lot more work to get the title out. And let's not forget, they've got this title out in a shorter time period. I mean, I know they probably started a bit earlier, but um, Mm -hmm. you know, the turnaround in terms of release to release has been much shorter. Yeah. And they were a small team to begin with. Yes. I just, I think it's okay to be a tad critical, but you know, just, be reasonable. And it's not going to be an all things to all people. It never can be. No, no, of course not. Um, it's just something that happens to suit me very, very well. I I like the balance it strikes between sim and, and accessible. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just fix the UI, get the safety car in if you can. But again, like I... I I bitch at them for not putting in the safety car, but does it really... Like, one guy wrote a Steam review saying that basically the game was ruined because of it. 
you know, it was like ha- it's like having a, a FIFA game without a football or something, he said. And I thought, that's a <laughs> wanky thing to say. It would be it would be a FIFA game without a referee that can run out on pitch and shout and wave a card around if someone done a very specific thing wrong. Yeah, I mean, like you very rarely actually get a safety car in these games anyway. Yeah, you have to go some. Although I did create a massive smash in my career one at Austria. I managed to ping pong Bottas around Bottas. Sorry, around. Yeah, yeah get it right. <laughs> around loads of people. And so I kind of hung around just to see what would happen. And they just all like disappear off the track almost instantly as soon as they go to a stop. So you can't like, they, they've Bass. designed it so that you can't then get everyone stuck everywhere. Hmm. I can sort of understand why they did that. But um, still, it'd be nice to be able to bask in the glory of your accident a little bit. Yeah. Oh, being um, disqualified. Well done, you. I, yeah, I pipped you with my final. I, it was the only clean lap I strung together, one with no traffic and where I didn't balls up turn two. <laughs> um, but I only beat you by like less than half a tenth. Impressive stuff. Um, I do love how evenly matched we are in, yes. this, in this iteration of the game. This is looking good. And, you know, we truly are the Caterham Kings now. We are one too. I, by the way, I turned the AI difficulty up a level, so um, yeah. we should actually be playing on... X. Hard or expert. We're a medium our... for this, but we should go up for expert, I reckon. For when we so, do our thing, yeah. Okay, then we will crank it up to expert for our playthrough. Um, let us advance to the race. Because I was, and I was just on my single player career, I was having a go at expert. Um, and I don't know if it was just because it was one of those starting off damp and got wet throughout the session races. Um, but I managed to win in a Sauber, and that feels like I shouldn't be doing that on Expert. It doesn't, but again, you know, it could be the AI not adapting to the, the changeable conditions. Actually, how were the changeable conditions? Did you have to change tyres? Was there... Um, no, it was, it was of the perfect length, where it kept getting wetter and wetter and wetter, but you could still stay out on dries. And so... Um, but you could see increasingly people were getting like bad. And what I did find really hilarious was it was Maldonado that spun it and put it in a wall and retired. And I was like, yes, got that one to a T. Um, but no, it, it kept it was it, they kept saying light rains here now. And um, I was like, I can tell. But it never got to the point where I was like, I need inters. Mm. I really want to find out how it deals with changing between dry and wet tyres and vice versa, just to make sure that the my major bugbear of the last few seasons hasn't been repeated. Uh, um, yes. But my gut would say it hasn't, because um, something else I can report from my single player is your driving style really does play... I, I munch through my tyres. Um, I've got a perfect example of this now. What strategy are you on? Uh... Options to primes. Oh, two stop. All oh, right. So, yeah, I'm on two stop as well. Um, which on a 25 percenter I didn't have on my single player, and it's because I've burnt through my my tires, and you have to start on the tires you do your fast lap on, don't you? Yeah. So hit on so, lap five to six, and then again on lap eleven to twelve. Estimated race time: twenty two minutes twenty one seconds. We've um. Yeah, I wonder if the others are two stopping as well. Maybe, maybe it's just meant to be this way. But and it, what I found in single player was that I was my race engineer was going mental because I was not taking care of my tires, and he was telling me to lift and coast and to look after my brakes. My brakes were always overheating, and um, I found that my tires went off much faster than the strategy said they should. And I fucking love that. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Are you ready, sir? Yes, I'm good, sir. I was just trying to see if it could let me change my strategy, and it wouldn't. I didn't get offered another strategy, but did you see there was that line of text that said the simulation is saying there is only one viable strategy for this race? Yes. So I like I like that. But it should let me do a, a mental balls-out strategy if I want to. Yes, because... Um... 
on our little one, I was changing it around so that how how much slower would it be if I started on wet tires on a dry track? And it bumped it up two minutes and was like, we don't recommend this. <laughs> <laughs> but good, you know, make your recommendation, then it's up to me to ignore it. Yeah, yeah. Doing the reverse psychology strategy. And I like that it takes it it takes your input and says that doesn't work or that's not optimal. Yeah. So the reason why I think our our engines kept heating, um, if you was doing the same, was that I was not up chain, uh, changing up gears at the minute that it hits the red part of the counter. I was going all the way up, and I didn't realise just how much that was killing my engine, um, and actually how much slower it is to continue acceleration. Uh, for me, what I found out in my single player, because I wore out my rear tyres far faster than my front is that I was being a bit too reckless coming out of the corners and I was spinning I was lighting up the, the rears a bit more I mean you're always going to a little bit but oh Hamilton's taken me on the inside um, yeah. it was um, it was basically that I was spinning the wheels on the corner exit and um, it did me no favours whatsoever. I was just demonstrating there, right for you yeah. folks. I, lo- I was looking back as you did that as well, and I felt like you know you were doing a bit of a sort of show and tell deal for me. <laughs> uh, the race engineer says if a storm front appears, we will let you know. Please do. That would be. Handy That's kind of your job, actually. Yeah. Arsehole. Uh, um, in, he's also saying we should try for an overtake through sector two. Oh, okay, that's quite specific. Ooh. he had me there. That was a good move <laughs> by him, not me. Anyway, sorry, you were going to say. Um, yeah, so your engineer on here obviously comes through your speakers or your headphones, depending on where you are. One of the things that I really like about the PS4 version, and it's the same with Project Cars, um, speaks out of the controller. Oh, really? Yep. Um, and what I think I also saw with the controller uh, on the PS4 version is that you've got... A, ooh, ooh, that wasn't a good move, Smithy. Um, is, I swear, the light bar changes colour depending on what flag zone you're in. So it was green, obviously, most of the time. And then when I was in a yellow flag zone, my light bar changed to yellow. That is a very cool feature. So I pro- props for that because obviously it only works for a PS4, and I just if I don't know what there is on a uh, Xbox One to do similar, but um, unless I was just literally having like a a weird moment, oh, like that. I I only just caught it. I had the exact same moment you've just had. How are you feeling being back in 2014? Uh, like I wish I'd have had this game in 2014, another 2014 <laughs> car. Um, and almost like there's a championship worth fighting for. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Rosberg. Poor homeless Rosberg. Uh, he, he has pulled himself together at least. Hamilton's pulling out quite a gap on me because of that corner we've just come through. Okay. I keep I keep wriggling on the corner exit and um, it gives him so much time to get away. But, you know, I'm I'm feeling like uh, there's a level of competition that should yeah. be. Uh, oh, I've just been told to be careful on the tyres. The data is showing it's wearing too quickly. So I'm doing my usual. Have you had any updates? Uh, no. My engine has been really quiet, actually. I might, I might ask him when we get. Oh, maybe it's because I've got them turned down. That would help. <laughs> but yeah, my tires are going off, actually. Um. I was going to ask for an update about you, but the menu is so difficult to navigate while you're driving the track that that didn't happen. Oh, 
No barrier. No. No, Magnuson, you can't have it. Rosberg, stop it. Oh, Rosberg just punted me off into the barrier. I've lost my front wing. Oh, no. Oh, your cornering ability just goes completely. Yep. He proper punted me. I'm looking forward to being able to record from my footage and give you the video to edit into your video to show when people are being twats. So I just ghosted through... Oh, Vern. <laughs> I think I've just been a twat. <laughs> yes, I do need to fit in for repairs. Thanks. Well, this has been an eventful race. <laughs> <laughs> it's action-packed. So let's, let's not deny that. I can't get into the pit lane. There you go. I do love the nose cone change animation. Mm -hmm. That was a long pit stop, boys. Every team has their own traffic lights as well. That is so dope. <laughs> Maldonado is last. No, he's not. There are oh, two others. Oh, uh, no, Vern's last. I, t I managed to clout him right off. Good. Sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> not, not a Jean-Eric fan. <laughs> I like the real Jean-Eric Vern, but the video game Jean-Eric Vern is a penis. Yes, I remember him taking an affection to your bodywork quite often. <laughs> He was. He's got a roving eye for bodywork. Oh, there's been an off. Gutierrez, Gutierrez. Ah, uh, see? They've clearly got something right. <laughs> He's lost his wing. He's going very, very slowly. Do you think he'll <clears> be in a Haas F1 next year? I kind of hope so. Oh, Chilton, you're here as well. Yeah, Maxi baby. In the house. And I've got DRS on you. Not that it's doing me much good. <laughs> it's just oh. looks my corner for me instead. Oh, Maldonado is on his way. I don't know how... <clears throat> so did Maldonado, despite having a front wing not... No front wing not pit? That was a bit weird. Never mind. Um, so actually then, whilst we're talking about the old Chilton, the ultimate question... Max Chilton or Will Stevens? Ooh. Do you know, I'd like to see them together. That would be the ultimate pairing, wouldn't it? Max Chilton and Will Stevens at Manor next year. Yes, please. That has to become a thing. I'm trying to build a gap race engineer. Now, Subtle, think very carefully about what you're considering doing. You've not got that Sauber drive next year. Just give over now. No, he just turned in on me. What a prick. They, 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 they just turn into you and they just hit you. They don't They don't care. Uh-huh. Um, very grid autosport. Yeah. Uh, Williams are coming out for a pit stop. Don't know if your engineer told you that as well. Uh, no. <clears throat> but... It looks like we're the only two stoppers. Hmm. Have you noticed? No one else stopped lap five and six. No. I don't even know which tyres I'm on, actually. <laughs> My suspension's too high for me to see. I think I'm on primes. <laughs> but now I can ask the race engineer... I 
I do feel like I've driven like an utter donkey in this race. <laughs> Never mind. Love the circuit though. The circuit is amazing balls. Oh, yellow flag. Yeah, because uh, Bianchi just turned into me oh. on the on the pit straight. Literally turned into me. On the straight? Yeah. Oh, is that him parked? Yes, yeah, it he's, is. He's now stuck trying to get out of the... And I've lost my front wing, so my race is bollocks. Actually, no, I'm on the two-stopper anyway. Oh, they're all in now. So, well, I've just got out ahead of Raikkonen. That's... I see regardless of wherever he is, in whatever year he is, he's still at the back in that Ferrari. What position are you? Uh, 17. I'm in ninth, but that's not going to last. It's funny how I've already got ready to... Uh, so um, used to Vettel being in the Ferrari, that now he's in a Red Bull. It felt weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is undrivable without the front wing. Yeah, it's going slow. Yeah, I'm back down with the Chilton. I, like, I was really annoying. He he literally drove into me. Um, my tyres are really worn as well. He drove into me literally as I passed the start-finish straight. And I can't understand why the AI would change line like that on a straight when mm. it knows I'm there. That's a bit stupid. But I completely bollocks my tires, so it's good I'm going on to primes. Ooh, more yellow flags. Oh, it's Bottas. Bottas facing the wrong way on a straight. But 77 ass. What are you doing? I'm still not last, <laughs> <laughs> which is incredible. It's right. encouraging that this is running quite happily 22 cars because my worry were though is like, oh, we've not put mana on the grid. I was like, oh, no, it's going to struggle to hold 20 cars. Actually, it's running 22 quite happily. It's doing all right, isn't it? Oh, I don't know what that was. But Chilton has now ghosted for me. Oh, barrier. No front wing again. Ghost like Swayze. That's so, based on our discussions and our findings since our super hype video, mm -hmm. would you change your position in any particular way? Um, still love it. Uh, a little bit more level-headed. <laughs> mm. um, uh... I still say this has the potential to be the best F1 game so far that Codemasters have done. I'm I'm going to stand by pretty much what I said yesterday. Um, the reason for that is that regardless of the little niggles I've found since making that video, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still driving around with that huge smile on my face and no game really does that for me anymore. And so the fact that it does tells me everything I need to know. Yeah. Like if, if the money I've spent is putting a huge smile on my face and I'm genuinely looking forward to, to getting on and driving it, mm -hmm. even if I am getting like 18 frames per second and it looks like balls, that tells me they've done everything right. That Everything important right. Mm -hmm. Let's not say they've done everything right, but they've fixed what needed to be fixed, in my opinion. Yeah. The foundation for what is like an absolute classic game is laid here. I think it would take a while for them to get to classic heights. But the enjoyment factor, which I think is something that it doesn't matter what video, who's doing a video, it's really difficult to be able to try and tell you what makes this so enjoyable. But it, but it is. And that's more important than whether or not there's a safety car and things like that 
I agree. I have to go into the pits because I drove through something and I got a puncture. Oh. So, nice. you think that would piss me off, but I'm actually genuinely happy about it. That's good. <clears throat> hmm? That's good. I, I wondered, actually, because I'd seen... Um, in my single-player races, I saw someone grab a punch after driving through someone's front wing, and I wondered if that was actual coincidence or not, but clearly not. No, I drove through some bits. They were whitey. I guess it could have been something from Bottas. I don't know, but... Um... My tyre rapidly deflated. Bonus points. I am now dead last, but I still don't care. <laughs> you say Caterham King. I know. King of all the Caterhams. Well, I'm catching up on your... F on fake Esther Ben. Yeah, watch him, because he's a I'll bastard and he'll drive into you. I'll have the little bastard. Don't worry. Him, Vern, and Bianchi have uh, all crashed into me this time. And so oh, Maldonado, I am coming for you. <laughs> Just don't try uh, turning and trying to get away from me with your DRS open. Ooh. Oh, that was the lap of a lifetime. Like, when I can hook it up, I can really hook it up, but... Oh, wow, I've just got a motivational message from my race engineer. Oh, wow. Saying, he said, this is the sin of the race where we really need you to turn uh, open the tab. I know you've got the pace, and now's the time to deliver it for the best result. Hey. Uh, my engineer's called Jeff. Is yours? Yes. Okay. Um, It would be nice to have more than one, wouldn't it? If they could just record those voiceovers with two actors, and then when you're playing cooperatively you don't both have the same engineer at least they've sacked Andy fucking Knight oh is that who was doing the other one yeah yeah it was it was a wannabe smedley yeah and you can't be a wannabe smedders no there is only the one I've got 40% of my fuel load remaining, mainly because I spent most of the race in the pit lane. Ah, see, that must mean that I'm using my fuel much more than you, because I hit that a lap ago. So I must be much harder on the accelerator, or not lifting and coasting as much. I'm only lifting and coasting because my corner exits are really fucking sloppy. Alright, Bianchi, pay attention. I'm going to come and do a pass on you now. That's a pass not a drive alongside so you can smash into the side of me for no conceivable reason. <laughs> the setting for this track is fantastic, isn't it? It's the, one of the Grand Prix I'd really like to visit. I'd really like to do Austria and Singapore. Yeah, yeah, actually, I'd agree. I'd agree with those. Definitely Singapore. Uh, I had some mates actually go over to the Austrian one from the sim racing league that I do. Um, they all couldn't speak highly of it. Um, what, they couldn't speak highly at all or not highly enough? Uh, not highly enough, sorry. Oh, good. Really, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and the way how the banking for the race is done and all of the stands... It's deceiving, actually, how much of the circuit that you could see from any location. Um, and then you could actually just sit up on the hills if you wanted anyway. I, I was actually thinking that as I was driving around. I was thinking about my experience at Formula E and how if they slightly moved the stands, you could see a lot more of the track. And here it seems the stands are in excellent positions. Same at Silverstone, actually. Yeah, I was surprised when I was there last year that... Um, like when you're at Maggots and Beckett's, that complex, you can see turn three in the background. And I was like, oh, it hadn't really occurred to me that you could see that in line of sight. Yeah, you don't really think about that, do you? When you're like, you know, driving a simulation of it or, you know, you're not looking for that kind of detail. Hmm. What was the yellow flag for? Any ideas? Uh, it wasn't for me that time. <laughs> 
Oh. I guess we'll see it in the end of race incident report. Yes, possibly. I'm getting warned again for cutting because I keep catching the inside curb and I know we won't be making another pit stop. Ooh, that this is, bit... is the recovery drive of a lifetime. Are you rocking it, boy? I'm so on the pace that the pace is considering taking out a restraining order. <laughs> 25 percent fuel remaining i've closed the gap to you on fuel then because i got that message at the exact same time but i've been running high fuel for the last few laps ah see i've not changed any fuel yet but i may well do in a smidge now that i can see you in my mirrors um another minor niggle how long it takes for that fuel um, menu to change? Yes. I was going to say that, actually, because you can't just like tap the direction three times like you could in the old games. You have to yeah. wait for it to register the button press, yeah. and then again, and then again. But again, like I'm, I'm, I'm critical of it, but at the same time, I'm just wondering, maybe I'm giving them too much credit, but is that trying to impress upon you how difficult it is for the drivers to make these adjustments on the fly probably because it seems strange that they would purposely make that decision but then again games companies make purposely weird decisions all the time <laughs> Gutierrez again turns in on me and I get a warning for it oh my god you complete bastard Well, I thought I was going to catch you, Simon, but it's not going to happen now he's spun me round. The AI is really, really reckless. There you go. People who, who are inevitably going to say that I blow sunshine up Codemaster's arse about this game. There you go. That's a genuinely serious gripe. The drivers will just turn into you and spin you round. Like, I don't mind racing incidents going into corners and stuff, but on straights, it shouldn't be happening. No, not on straights. Uh, I need to start cooling my brakes. Oh, I just had exactly the same message. Oh, no, he's just unlapped as well. Ah, no! Please let me finish the last lap. No, of course it doesn't. I could have got past Gutierrez before the end of the race, but it just robs you of that opportunity. There you go. That's another gripe. But that's a real one. <laughs> that's like a real rule. <laughs> Although, if I remember rightly... Actually, no, I think... I've seen it differently, was that um, it doesn't tell you how many laps down you are, it just turns it into minutes and seconds, and I was like, what? Oh, I've got broadcast-style cameras on you. Oh, have you? Yeah, proper TV-style. I'm getting some screenshots. Ooh, baby. Me and Maxi. Yeah, you and Maxi, baby, battling it out. You've got the legs on him, though. I've, ooh, I've always been told I've got good <laughs> legs. Warning, exceeded track limits, I wonder. Hmm. Oh well, the dildo car, done not bad. I, do you know, we could have both been on the podium and things have been <laughs> yeah. so slightly different. I'm interested to see what our fastest laps were comparatively. Oh yeah. I think Hamilton was faster than me, if I'm honest. But uh, I'm not convinced Rosberg was. How did Rosberg get in front of Hamilton? Also, I'm quite happy to take finishing 20th or 19th or whatever it was, given I had four pit stops. <laughs> right, what? Okay, they were in the 114s. You were in a 114. I was a 115.1, so actually you, your fastest lap was three tenths faster than mine. 
But just... neither of us were... Yeah, only Lewis has a faster best lap than you. And clearly, the the Lotus replacements for us have decided to cause all the penalties. <laughs> Let me look at the racer. I know I got a warning. I got several. Um, collision with Bianchi. Why did I get a warning for that? Collision with Rosberg. Again, that wasn't my fault. Yeah, so Jules Bianchi gets a warning for colliding with me. So does Gutierrez. But Rosberg doesn't. I got the penalty for Rosberg. Uh, oh, look at that. Ignoring yellow flags. Yes, because although it was me that caused the collision with Vern, I did see them going and overtaking people as I was coming back on track. And I thought, I wonder... I like that the AI makes the drivers do that and then punishes them for it. <laughs> it would be very easy just to stop them doing it. A good giggle. I'm still enjoying this game. Yeah. I still think people should buy it. Yep. I'm glad that settles that then. Agreed. To the pub. <laughs> to the pub. <laughs> and beyond. Um reason why this screen goes black because it only occurred to me when i was playing elsewhere is that when you're in menus and you're tweaking around with stuff it's loading the track in the background so that if you wanted to tweak with like options of how the thing works this is it like reloading the track back up again uh with the uh so so you can dive straight in again is what i could work out in the console version it doesn't seem to be quite as smooth on the pc version hmm I tell you what I am going to do though. I'm going to upload to Steam those magnificent screenshots I got of you, Ooh. and maybe you can do a silent slideshow at the end of your video, um, just to show off the broadcast cameras because we didn't get it from um, your screen, but they are there, which is weird because they weren't there when I was looking at you in quali and practice yesterday. No, 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 they weren't. But they are there for the race, which is weird because that's when you can't use them. <laughs> and if you retire um, in single player you can't then watch the rest of the race from your monitor oh they need to patch that in I'm going to get on Twitter and bloody tell them A all AI races please yes I miss that I, I really I really do want to see that um, so uh, before we go um, what's going on with you and the channel this week uh, I'll be Uploading more of this kind of stuff, a lot more F1 2015. Um, and what I may do is like a bit of a. Let's see if I can do a retrospective of F1 games in general, actually, and bring out some of the old ones um, so that when people go, this is the worst F1 game ever, clearly you are wrong. Provably wrong. Well, for me, I you? will be in about an hour's time. Um, re-recording my Grand Prix World video for round three, Argentina. Mm -hmm. So I'll do a qualifying video and probably a race video. I'll record tomorrow. They'll probably go up Saturday, Sunday. Um, I don't have my own YouTube URL yet because uh, I'm not big enough, but that'll come eventually. Um, the channel is definitely zero. Um, also, I'm going to look into, depending on when my new system comes, um, I might take a look at some other fancy bits and bats. I'm always uh, keen to hear suggestions and feedback, but I have been considering um, dabbling around. I'm worried it's going to ruin my co-op performance, but um, I was going to have a bit of a dabble on Grand Prix 4, mm -hmm. possibly. Um, Sunless Sea, I want to do some videos on as well, so I'll probably try and record a bit of Sunless Sea this week too. Oh, I'd be interested in that because I bought that on the Steam Summer, uh, uh, yeah, the Steam Summer Sale. I've yet to dive into it, but uh, that trailer made me... <laughs> it is good. <laughs> I can tell you that much. It is good. Um, also, next couple of weeks, I uh, might be doing some multiplayer Crusader Kings 2, which is going to be a super long playthrough, like lots of episodes over a period of time. But if you're into your grand strategy, I think that's the daddy of them all. So come and check that out as well. Superb. Uh, what's your channel again, so everyone's got it? Uh, that's uh, definitely zero. Cool. I'll make sure I stick a link in the description below. And uh, yes, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. 
we're gonna go play some more. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a bit. Nom, nom, 